I suppose you go back to your first first memories and uh, f first time I met the kid, uh, we knew about uh, obviously number one draft pick, young talented kid coming into the footy club and um, you know, all eyes are on him, see what sort of uh, assets he has and what he can bring to the club and you know, obviously worked hard, trained hard and I suppose, you know, I realised he's probably going to be a player for the, for the big stage when post training, you know, he got stripped off, we straight in the showers and one spot's left there, one next to Cooter, one next to Wadey and for Murph to be packing what he's packing, to saddle up in the middle of them two, I thought that's a courageous move and a kid that doesn't shy away from the big stage. So I thought, you know what, he's got a, he's got a bright future. <laughs> yeah, I, I just sort of do remember when he was first drafted, he was, uh, looked like he was 15, um, probably still does. Um, but more sort of just uh, hanging out with him in the gym. I was probably a couple of years older, but yeah, he came in, he was pretty impressive. Um, just had that aura about him when he walked in and. Just a good kid, wanted to learn and um, yeah, went about his business, worked hard. He's a ripping bike, everyone loves him. Uh, a real good man, real good, he was a real good kid, obviously turned into a real good man and he's everyone's mate and uh, yeah, fantastic man. Yeah, he's a, he's a ripping fella, um, one of my best mates probably around the club. Um, just a real genuine sort of guy, um, everything, everything he does and always probably puts himself second behind his teammates and, uh, and the club. Very fortunate and f feel privileged to have played a lot of football with, with Mark, I think nine or, nine or ten years, something like that. So, you know, as a kid, he was learning from, from the players around him, but then quickly uh, superseded them, you know what I mean? Like his ability and his um, determination really shone through, and uh, he just oozed, um, oozed leadership, I suppose, and oozed uh, talent, and you just knew he was going to be a, a, a really a real big asset for the Carlton Footy Club. Scotland to Murphy, 45 metres out. Oh, that is supreme. Yeah, it's pretty special, um, especially at Carlton. I'm not sure about other clubs, but uh, as you walk down the hallway and you've got the 200 club and you see all the, the past greats of the club on the wall and um, so much history with, with Carlton especially. Um, sort of, it's big when you get your name on your locker for 100 and then I think 200, there's, there's probably not, there's only probably 30, 30 odd guys in there. So it's, uh, it's pretty special and um, sort of feel like you're, uh, yeah, you're always going to have your place at the club um, forever. Just want to say, Murph, all the best. It's a, it's a wonderful achievement. Um, I know you'll probably, uh, you know, just t treat it as another game. But you know, when you finish and you're an old washed up bloke like myself, you'll really appreciate these sort of milestones. I hope that the players uh, respect and understand how important of a game it is for you, um, and th and they really um, treat it as if it was a milestone for themselves because it, it is a, a fantastic achievement and one that I hope is a memorable one for you, and and, and a memorable one for the Carlton Football Club. Yeah, all the best for uh, tomorrow night, Murph. Uh, 200 games is uh, an exceptional effort, uh, especially 200 quality games like, like you've had. So, um, yeah, just wishing you all the best and uh, looking forward to uh, yeah, running out with you and enjoying the moment. Welcome to the club, mate. Murph, you're the 34th 200 gamer in 151 years, mate. Such a really strong, successful, proud club. You're a big part of that uh, history, mate. Welcome to the club. Um, congratulations.